I am going to go to the first comic. This is Desert Sunflower. All right, let me um, let me see if I can expand this a little bit. Oh. All right, you guys ready? Let's do this. <clears throat> Desert Sunflower, Seed of the Red Sun, art and story by Delano Ak Akairo Mills. All right, you can read this, by the way, on metabang.com. Um, I'm going to put all the links in the description. Uh, I meant to do that. I haven't done it yet, but I can go back and add it. So, yeah. Uh, this is read from left to right. Okay, awesome. <clears throat> the Night of the Red Sun. What is believed to be a goddess came down to a tribe in the middle of the Sakar Desert and blessed them. Stronger resistance to the harsh desert heat, the ability to control the harsh desert sand, and their piercing crimson red eyes. The goddess also shows them what is now considered the most sacred treasure, red iron, a mineral that can only be found deep in the Sakar sand. The mastery of this mineral, along with all their abilities, became known as the Red Sun Tribe. All right, all right. So uh, first off, starting off, I just want to say I like, I like how you kind of you know tell like the history really really quick. Um, my only criticism would be if you can try to find a way to lessen the words and get straight to what you're trying to say in a more direct, more uh, less confusing way to say it. Like I get what you're going for, but the better way to do that is just to get straight to it. Um, you know, not only because when you look at it for the the normal viewer, when they look at it, they might get intimidated by so many words. So you know, the less the better. Not only that, but also if you limit yourself, you actually like learn how to, um, you know, say things a little bit better. I'm I'm still working on this myself, especially with the volumes that have come out and all that. So just keep that in mind. That's you know, but everything else so far so good. I like um, these figures. I think that the perspective's kind of off. Uh, you know, the background. However, I I, I get what you're going for. Um, yeah, I get what you're going for. But overall, I I, I like it. it. Looks cool. All right. <clears throat> The Red Sun Tribe. This is a double page spread, too. Okay. Okay. I, I would say if you're going to do a double page spread, uh, try to add a little bit more detail. Because uh, right now, this is the Red Sun Tribe. This is a big city. And there's three people. I mean, draw more people. Draw some people on the, you know, on the bridge. Uh, you know, maybe, you know, there's, um, I don't know, maybe there's, like, cars and stuff that are, you know, move with sand. You can, you know, just be creative with it. Like, you know, everything that you just mentioned, that was really cool. I think that if you did that, um, show a little bit more of the city and how that all works, that, that would that would be really cool. But all right, let me let me keep reading. Maybe I'm jumping the gun. So the Red Sun Tribe was peaceful, had a strong sense of community, and everybody knew everybody. We took great pride in our traditions and warrior culture. Some would train their samokinesis if they were a warrior eventually hunting a sand shark to be a true warrior and earn their red blade made from red iron. Okay, all right. So I like I like that there's more people. Um, I would uh, I would still try to like maybe add a little bit more, uh, you know, interactions with them. I like the kids, how they're running. I like Naruto, that's, that's always nice. Um, you know, I like uh, these tattoos. That's really cool. Um... I, I, again, you know, when it comes to uh, a new viewer, you know, try to, you know, be as simple as possible. Um, so that way no one is ever confused or brought out of your story. Uh, this samokinesis, I'm, I would assume, you know, this is something that I've never heard of samokinesis. So, I mean, you know, if that's, if that's a real thing, then, you know, I'm just dumb, I guess. But, I mean, you know, if it's made up, I would try to make something a little bit, you know, easier to remember as well you could just say um you know telekinesis <laughs> honestly <laughs> like i mean you know you you don't have to you know add anything else just to you know make it sound like you know special if you do want to make it sound special then you know you could just say you know red sun tribe energy or you know sun energy or you know i don't know just something like that's super simple so that way everybody no matter you know my my philosophy is you never want to confuse anybody so you know my advice is for everybody, you know, always, it's probably going to be on the, you know, try to simplify things. You know, that's going to be my advice for people. But anyway, let's continue. Um, I like this picture, by the way. Um, I would, however, uh, oh, okay, all right. I see the sword right here. I would have made the sword a little bit more of the focus because this is, you know, talking about the red iron, uh, the red iron blade. So I would have made this, uh, 
the sword a little bit more of the focus in this panel, but whatever. My parents, my parents embody both aspects of our culture. Okay, I'm not sure if this was a typo, but I would, you know, yeah, I would, I would look at that. So my parents embody both aspects of our culture. My father, a scholar who had a massive library in the basement of our home, would store records and books on our history and culture to keep it alive. My mother was a warrior when I wasn't in my father's library. She ensured I trained my semikinesis, learned the basics of blade combat, and even some sand surfing. Okay. All right. I loved my parents, and I loved my people, but one day it all was taken away. The Knights of... Arkwatch. Arkwatch, a nation far south of the Sakar Desert, established the military branch Knights of Arkwatch to monitor and maintain a trade relationship between Arkwatch, Kala City, and most importantly, the Red Sun Tribe. Arkwatch came across one of our weapons made from red iron, becoming fascinated with the mineral with the material and craftsmanship, they decided to create a trade agreement. All of this happened long before I was born. Arkwatch and the Red Sun Tribe had a fruitful relationship for a long time. The Red Sun Tribe was built ah the Red Sun Tribe even built their home based in the Sakar Desert. Okay, alright, so so far, um everything up to this point, I think that uh you telling the history of everything, I like that. I like uh, you know, what you're going for. I think that there could have been a little bit more thought in um, you know, the the actual panels, like, you know, what you're drawing inside of them, uh to, you know, maybe just uh, clarify a little bit more with what you're writing. So my advice would be just, um, you know, do a few passes, um, draw a lot of thumbnails, you know, try to see, hey, you know, does this fit better? Does this fit better? And, you know, after about two or three passes, you know, you'll see something that looks kind of good. And then if you do two or more passes, you know, you might see something that's even better or, you know, like you'll just incorporate everything that you've already done to you know draw something better that's a little bit more clear. So like that's that's what that would be my advice in that regard. But everything up to this point so far so good. I li I like it. Um, but what we thought was another peaceful night was the night everything changed. When he knights of Ark Watch attacked. <laughs> it's I I know it's supposed to be the knights, but you know you did the typo so. He, he knights of Arkwatch attacked <laughs> a complete surprise attack. None of us saw it coming, so they had the advantage. All right, oof, man. But we're shocked. But we're shocked. But we ended up fighting again, back against the knights of Arkwatch. It, it looks like they died against the knight. Okay, all right. It looks like <laughs> he killed that dude. Okay, all right. Well, it doesn't. All right, this dude died. This this person killed this person. And then, okay, well, the Ark Watch people were massacring <laughs> some Tribe people. I mean, jeez. Man. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Uh, I like the smoke. I like, you know, that's very stylistic. Um, you know, I like I like that. Uh, you know, it also looks very hot because of, you know, all the uh, cross action that you did. It's, it's kind of like, you know, there's a lot of fire going on. So, like, you know, I like that. That looks cool. I would, however, try to uniform it a little bit more because it would make things look a little... It would just make it look better. Uh, right now, it's it kind of like this page in particular. These panels look very sketchy. Um, if you're going for that, then you gotta try to incorporate that into more panels, uh, and and more like I mean, you know, everything up to this point, like it doesn't look nearly as sketchy. Like you know, and maybe back here and stuff, but you know, that's not. That's not what you did right here. So, I mean, you know, I, I get what you're going for, but I would just say try to make it a little bit more uniform or make everything sketchy so that way it, like, you know, kind of, you know, doesn't take anybody out or confuse them on what they're looking at. Because, you know, even though I can tell that this is one person and this is another person, I would assume that this is a leg right here and maybe there's another person, like, falling down. You could have made that a little bit clearer, um, you know, if, like, everything was either uniform or, you know, again, try to draw a little bit more... Um, you know, angles and stuff. Like, if you if you redraw the same panel over and over and over again, you'll eventually find a better panel to, you know, draw. So, but so far, so good. I mean, you know, I, I like this so far. This is cool. Uh, my parents acted fast and hid me in the basement. My mother giving me one of her dagger to protect me when he 
when the worst okay i'm sorry hold on <laughs> my parents acted fast and hid me in the basement my mother giving me one of her dagger to protect me when the worst came i tried to hide from the horror covering my ears to block out the screaming i looked outside and the images i saw burned my head to this day i still have nightmares about it hold on for a second let me see <laughs> if give me give me a second let me I don't have that right there. Ah, that sucks. Sorry, I was trying to get... Move this right here, so that way if you guys have... All right. Okay, all right, sorry about that. Let me, let me go back. All right. I'm trying to put the chat up right here, so that way if you guys, you know, say anything, I can, you know, talk to you and all that. All right, cool. <clears throat> I looked outside, and the images I saw burns my head. To this day, I still have nightmares about it. Oh, snaps. Jeez. I saw my people's bodies lying on the floor, lifeless, the sand covered in blood, homes burning. I could see my parents fighting with their last breath. But before my eyes, I saw them taken away from me, and the man I saw did it. I could never forget what he looked like. <laughs> Jeez, man. Okay, I woke up on the ground of my father's library thinking it was all a dream, but when I stepped outside, all I could see was a nightmare turned into reality. I tried waking up my parents, but they were gone. Holding on their lifeless corpse, all I could do was cry. As I cried, the image of the man that killed my parents flashed before my eyes. And just then, my tears of sorrow turned into pure anger and rage. That day, I vowed to seek my revenge. I vowed to take down the Knights of Arkwatch, no matter the cost. Ever since that day, 10 years ago, I improved my skills. Master Blade, combat trained my psychokinesis to its peak. Taught myself everything I could because I'm the last surviving member of the Red Sun Tribe. All right, all right. So everything up to this point, I like, I like the, um, I like how you introduce this there's a lot of words i would you know again i would try to simplify a little bit more um <laughs> i'm gonna make jokes just because that's who i am and i want you guys to laugh but i want you to know cairo that i liked this <laughs> I li i'm gonna keep on reading but i just i just want to let you know the first thing i want to say is that this dude kind of looks like uh what's his name um Oh man, the guy from uh, Attack on Titan that everybody loves, uh, you know, he looks like that dude, you know, that's, that's the first thing that, you know, came to mind. Not only that, but also that gun, uh, you know, I would definitely try <laughs> to redraw that in a different way. Like, I, I get what you're going for. It could be better. <laughs> so, like, I mean, look, that's everybody, you know, the more you draw, the better you're going to get. So just the... Just keep on doing what you're doing. I get what you're going for, though, and that's all that really matters. Um, I would say, what else? I liked this. This reminded me of Itachi. <laughs> like, when he turned around. <laughs> like, that was... I remember that. Like, you know, in Naruto, that was that was cool. That was cool. Uh, I like this cry. I do think that this could be a little bit more emotional. You could, um, you know, you could change the, uh, the angle. Uh, maybe make the panel a little bit bigger. Um, maybe make him smaller and like have more space around him so that way uh, it makes him feel a lot more alone um, but yeah I, I like I like everything up to this point uh, you know I, <laughs> I the, the, the first thing that came to my mind when I read this was like geez this, this kid like that's such a hard day <laughs> like I mean like I I'm sure like did okay all right I know this isn't Naruto and like Itachi and like you know killing everybody but like it did remind me of like Sasuke and like his entire Uchiha family dying in front of him and like when I saw this I thought to myself did a did Sasuke bury his friends and family <laughs> or did he just leave that to Konoha <laughs> did they just have to like say hey guys um we got a massive uh, body problem. <laughs> like, you know, what happened? Like, this kid is a soldier. This kid, how many graves is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's at least 11 people. This kid is like, I don't know, 10. <laughs> like, I mean, that's, 
That kid's a soldier, man. <laughs> like, I wonder if he used his uh, semi-kinesis <laughs> to, like, pick them up. Like, that would have been amazing. <laughs> like, I, I shouldn't be making jokes about his trauma. <laughs> but, like, that's that's the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> but, regardless, uh, you know, I do like everything up to this point. This is I, I like his jacket, too. That's a pretty cool jacket. Like, I the uh, the cover that you have, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty dope jacket. I like that. I like that. All right, we're gonna keep on reading. <clears throat> Actually, wait, wait, we're gonna let me read some um some uh some comments real quick. Um, let me Levi. Yes, that's there. You go. This is an early on, and I'm definitely redrawing a lot. Okay, okay. Uh, all right, cool. Yes, yes, yes. It's chapter one or a prologue chapter in Red Sands. It's a lot of narration. Free pre-order volume one. Does it ship out the day it launches? Um, I'm not necessarily sure. I, I think if that's, uh, Amazon, if that's their policy, then yeah, probably. But, um, you can pre-order, uh, a autographed copy for the same price. I mean, of a, a non-autographed copy. <laughs> just go to the Talk Shop Live. I have that, I think, in the description right now, so. Um, just so you know, it would be fixed if you mute the audio on the recording and just continue the mic. Oh, yes, 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 I did that. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Um, I'm gonna redraw a lot of the early stuff. Yes, yes. <laughs> I think you should. I think you should. This is good. This is definitely a good start. Um, you know, again, I I read my old comics and I didn't even go all the way back to my old old comics. But I mean, you know, the more you draw, the better you'll get. So yeah. All right. I'm gonna keep on going. How many pages is this? Uh, I got like 17. Oh wait, wait. wait. I'm on page 17. This is 64 pages. All right. So I'm probably gonna stop right here because. I have two more comics that I want to read, um, but for everybody out there that wants to read this, I'm going to be putting this inside of the uh, chat. Uh, I'm not, not the chat, I'm sorry. Well, actually, yeah, I can put it in the chat right now. Um, I'll put it in the chat right now, but it's also going to be inside of the, uh, the, ah, the description below. Let me paste that right there. And that way, everybody can uh, read that right now if you guys want to check that out. Um... Hold on. So technically, what he's read so far is a prologue in chapter one, but I just combined them. Okay, cool. Got you. Got you. Awesome sauce, man. I um, I'm gonna flip through. I'm gonna go through everything real quick, you know, just for my own, and then I'll give you my last final thought. I like this. I like this. Um, everybody out there, you know, go to that link if you guys want to check this out. Hold on. Let me uh, let me do this so that way I don't spoil it for everybody. Yeah. All right. So I'm looking at it right now. Okay. Ooh. All right. All right. There's a lot of action. Oh, okay. I like that pose. That's pretty cool. All right. More action. More action. All right. Yeah. I, I think. Okay. Okay. So I'm I'm not showing this for everybody uh, right now, just because I want you guys to you know definitely go check that out. Um, you know, I'm going to be putting this inside of the, uh, like I said, the description, but this is, uh, Sunflower, Desert Sunflower by Cairo. Um, I, oh man, the, I like the graffiti. That looks cool. I like that. Okay. Yeah. All right. I like the double page spread. That's a lot of people. Good job. I would probably try to. Just make things look okay so right now my biggest piece of advice is to try to make everything look as clear as possible oh nice cool re oh nice cool reveal cool reveal i like that i like that um i'm scrolling down while i'm talking right now so that's why i'm kind of like in and out with everything Make sure to support the full release of Sunflower Desert Seed of the Red Sun in summer 2023. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at akairo.jpg. Uh, again, I'm going to be having him, um, all of that inside of the description below. Thank you, man, for you know uh, sending me this in a DM. I really appreciate it. Um, I didn't want to spoil anything, so that's the reason why I you know cut it off. Uh, so that way no one would see it. But definitely go check it out, everybody. Uh, again, I put it inside of the chat just now, and I'm also going to be putting it in the description. My first reaction for this entire comic is uh, the very first page that I saw, which was the cover, looks amazing. All of the time you put into the cover, I would put 
all of that time into every single panel that you do because you clearly can draw you know how to draw <laughs> like look let me let me show everybody this again so that was like you know you, you know how to draw like this looks awesome so i would just use all of the time that you put into this but in every single panel i know it's going to take a long time eventually you'll get faster but you know i would really you know use that time because i mean it, this just looks better than you know everything else so my very first impression was whoa let's do this <laughs> and then i was scrolling down and i was like all right this is cool and you know as i was scrolling down like i saw that you have a lot of potential and you know a lot of the things that you've done a lot of the choices that you make are you know they're you know beginner mistakes and you know like you said you're going to be redrawing this i'm sure it's going to look a lot better um again with you know all the advice i've given you please you know take that you know because i'm sure you'll get you'll get better for sure but um just keep on drawing because you have a lot of talent i would say when it comes to if this is like your mega comic um i would definitely try to figure out a way to tell it in a more simplistic way think of I'm not sure if you've checked out my videos. Uh, I'm not sure if I even put this video out yet. Maybe it's the next video that comes out. But I talk about three types of stories. Um, there's a serial, uh, which is basically like an example of that would be like Family Guy or Bob's Burgers. Um, you know, it's basically a setting. These characters, they do this thing. Uh, and, you know, that's the story. Uh, there's no ending. It just keeps on going on and on and on and on. And you can end it whenever you want. So that's a serial, basically an ongoing story. That's what that basically is. Then there's a, um, a straightforward story, which is basically a short story. It uh, has a beginning, middle, and end, a definitive ending no matter what. And then there's a, um, a serial presented, uh, I'm sorry, a straightforward, a straightforward story presented as a serial, which is basically uh, uh, an example would be like Naruto or One Piece. Um, is a story that has a definitive ending, but it is open-ended otherwise, so it can go in any other direction. Um, personally, I think the easiest types of stories to create, uh, you know, it, it really kind of depends on what you're going for, but a straightforward story is always, like, you know, short stories are always the best, especially when you're starting out in the very beginning of your journey, because... I mean, you know, you're always going to have better ideas. You're always going to evolve. So always try to create short stories. Just get that one cool idea, you know, whatever short storyline or whatever. Just get it out of your head. Put it out there. See what, you know, people, you know, respond to it. And if they want to see more of it, then expand upon it. If not, then move on to the next one and, you know, get better and better and better. I think that this is a cool idea. I think that you probably have more cooler ideas. So... Yeah, but thanks again. I really appreciate it. This is from Akairo. I'm going to go back to his uh, Instagram. You guys can go check him out. This is it right here.